Hey everyone, my name is Matt, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you about ticket notification settings inside Damage Prevention Portal. The Damage Prevention Portal allows you to select from a wide range of ticket delivery formats when you are notified about an upcoming excavation project around your subsurface installations. When excavators notify our center about their excavation project inside your area of interest, we will send you a notification of the request to your provided email address. You can customize the format of those emails and the attachments you'll receive in the ticket notification settings for each station code. To access the ticket notification settings, click on Settings on the left-hand menu. Then click One Call Access. Under the Stations tab, you will see a list of your organization's station codes. You will need to select the appropriate ticket notification settings for each station code listed on your account. Click on a station code and scroll down to the Ticket Notification Settings section. You'll need to click on the pencil icon to make changes to the ticket notification settings. By default, the PDF attachment options will be turned on. If you are not using a TMS or ticket management system, we highly recommend receiving a PDF copy of the ticket. The PDF version is the easiest format to use for members who plan on either printing or viewing their tickets on screen. It is a file format designed to present documents consistently across multiple devices and platforms. As you see in this example, the information is organized across different fields, includes a picture of the dig site polygon, and is available to download. If you wish to turn off the PDF attachment option, the system will send you a plain text notification of the ticket. You will have the option of receiving a legacy format, which is the current plain text format we use to send tickets, or the PC format, which is the new Pelican plain text format. The primary difference between the two formats is the way in which the information will be displayed and organized. I have a legacy format example on the left and a PC format example on the right. Looking at the two examples, you'll notice that on the PC format on the right, the information is broken into individual lines in the plain text email. Also, the legacy format tickets will not include specific fields of information that have been added in the one call access ticket entry software, such as excavation depth and duration of work. For this reason, we highly recommend using the PDF option. If you still wish to receive plain text copies of your tickets, we recommend choosing PC format to include those additional fields of information. If your organization uses a TMS vendor to manage your tickets, these additional options may be necessary for your TMS vendor to process tickets quickly and efficiently. I'll run through each option and what it's used for, but we recommend that you reach out to your TMS vendor and ask them which formats should be turned on for each station code. A GIF is a standard image format that will display a picture of the dig site polygon that was drawn by the excavator. XML, or Extensible Markup Language, is a markup language that defines a set of rules for encoding documents in a format that is both human-readable and machine-readable. Simply put, it provides a simple standard for transmitting ticket data to be consumed by most ticket management systems. The XML attachment is just a long string of text that looks similar to code. GML stands for Geography Markup Language, and it allows for the transmission of the dig site polygon as a spatial object rather than a picture. This information is necessary for GIS software to view the dig site polygon on their maps. You must have a GIS software in order to open this type of file. These above mentioned formats become necessary for ticket management systems to parse data from the tickets into their programs. Parsing data is simply converting data from one format to another. So for example, your TMS may have a different way of organizing the information that's included on a dig ticket. Again, we strongly recommend reaching out to not only your TMS vendor, but also your contract locating company, if you have one, to confirm that you have the correct format and attachments selected for your station codes. Below those fields, we'll want to select Google Maps in the Project Datum drop-down menu and 3.0 in the Format field, unless otherwise instructed by your TMS vendor.
In this email from the 811 Notification Center, we have examples of each attachment mentioned above. You can view real examples of each format option on our Pelican cutover page on our website. A link to that page will be included below in the description of this video. You can also receive daily summary reports regarding your tickets in the field below. Add the email you would like the reports to be sent to by typing it below or clicking the Add Type button. If you would like to receive daily reports even when you didn't receive tickets for a specific day, check this box. Click the Save icon at the top of the window to save the changes you've made to this information. Make sure to select the appropriate options for each station code listed on your account. Ticket notification settings will determine what format your tickets are sent in and go hand in hand with your subscriptions, which determine what email your tickets are sent to. You can learn more about subscription rules and settings by watching our DPP subscription video. I'll also include a link to that video below in the description. If you have any questions or need direct assistance, please contact our member services department at memberservices at usan.org.